Hey guys, it's Brayden. Welcome back to another video, and today we're going to be talking about Lawn and Rain in DFFO Global Version. They're also commonly known as the Twins, and they were released on August 5th, which was a couple days ago while I was recording this video. Lawn and Rain were originally from the World of Final Fantasy game. That is why they look so weird, because they're not from the original Final Fantasy series. Now let's get into the stuff that you actually care about. Let's get right into the information. So now let's talk about their first attack. So our first attack contains lightning and earth and also it splits the damage until you get its 15 CP passive which would make it so that it gives total damage to all of the targets which pretty much means that it doesn't split like it used to just like its second attack which we're going to be talking about. So their second attack does not split damage from the beginning which means that it doesn't need a passive in order to make it not split but uh, if you do get its 35 CP passive it just pretty much gives a bravery boost and a uh, the... Uh, SD down boost, which pretty much I didn't mention this, but it after it, it gives an attack, it also gives a SD down boost, and it pretty much with the um, passive, it pretty much just makes the duration of the down boost a little bit longer. So it's pretty helpful, but not as good as the 15 CP passive. Now they do have an EX. Uh, this EX is not too significant because it acts just like their other attacks, which is a not is is it a non-split attack i uh, i mean it's flashy and all but it's a lot like their other attacks which makes it not that significant so i wouldn't suggest getting their ex unless you really want to i never got their ex because i only did two pulls and i got their uh, 35 and that was about it i stopped after that so i would suggest just going for their uh 35 and 15 so i i mean if you get the ex it's pretty good but i it's not as good as other EXs that we've seen so now one last thing about their attacks uh after three attacks i believe uh they stop splitting and it goes to just one target so this is probably the worst thing about them because you can only do three attacks i believe until it stops splitting and the damage goes down so i mean this isn't the worst, but uh, it's it's uh, it's kind of disappointing once you lose the ability to attack multiple targets. Now that's it for weapons. So now let's talk about a summary. Uh, I would rank these guys about an A rank probably compared to all of the other people. They're pretty good. Uh, if you guys are looking for someone that is good for farming like for hitting multiple targets uh when the targets are very easy i would suggest going for these guys uh that's one of the reasons why i went for them because i needed another person to be able to uh help my uh, Ryona, uh Renoa, i'm sorry uh and golpez for my farming uh they are also pretty good for other targets but those are what they're mainly good at uh so the real question should you pull them uh Yes, if you were looking for someone to farm, uh, but there is also somebody else that's coming soon. Oh, I forgot his name. Uh, let me ask my friend West really quick. His name is Vane. Yes, Vane. So, he is coming to Global in a couple days. I mean, not a couple days. I don't know how long he's going to, how long until he's going to be here, but I heard he's really good. So, you might want to say, you might want to save your gems and tickets until him. I only use my gems for the pulls on these. So, I'm saving all of my tickets for, um, for Vayne. So, I only used my gems on Lawn and Rain just so that I could get them and get their 35 CP. And I got pretty lucky because when I was pulling for Renoa, I did like 50 plus tickets and like uh, something like 40,000 gems on Renoa and still didn't get her EX, which was very disappointing. But I'm hoping I get some good luck for Vayne. I did get some good luck for these guys because it only took me two multi-pulls in order to get Lawn and Rain. So that'll be it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like. This was my first DFFOO video. Make sure you guys tell me what you guys thought about it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.